All right, this is 13942 Barbados Drive in Seminole. The sewer comes out of, if you're facing the house, the back right hand side. We have gone through where the plumber has cut the cast iron line to install a two way clean out. If you look on the bottom left, that's a counter. That's how many feet we are underneath the house. So the sewer runs basically under the house from one side to the other. It's a very long sewer, it's 80 feet. So we're at the end of it now. And we just got done uh, jet cleaning it, hydro jetting the line. You can see it's all nice and round and beautiful. Uh, when we got here, it was filled with cast iron scale. So I removed all the scale from the pipe. And once we inspect the whole pipe, I'll try to show the, um, the pile of scale on the camera. Um, it's hard to tell how big it is on the camera because the camera can be a little deceiving. So I'll, you know, once we get there, I'll grab a handful of it. But three inch cast iron, after cleaning it, it looks really good. Uh, I don't see any cracks in it. I don't see any breaks. Uh, I don't see any root intrusion. It looks like it needed a good cleaning. The only thing I would suggest, especially since it's an 80 foot sewer, is to use Scott's toilet paper. I think it's Scott 1000, you can get it at Walmart or Target, um, Publix. And right on the package, it's gonna say septic safe. So you're not on a septic tank at this house. However, that toilet paper breaks up a whole lot easier than say like a Charmin or you know a Cottonelle, something of that nature that's very thick. So even though we've cleaned all these pipes, as you can see on the video, they're still gonna be a little bit rough just because it's made out of metal and it's not made out of plastic. So the jetting is gonna absolutely 100% help but no wipes down here, no thick toilet paper. Um, it's gonna help keep this pipe flowing. Cause the only thing that keeps the water running from one side of the house to the other, which is 80 feet, is just gravity. So it's just the amount of water when you're taking a shower or flushing a toilet. Combo right there, something coming in. There's a 45 degree fitting. You can see how nice and round the pipe is. All the debris is gone. It looks really good since we jetted it. There's a couple little teeny tiny little pieces, but we uh, we still haven't done the final flush. I always like to camera it and see how it looks to see if we need to come in and work a couple more spots before we do the final flush. And it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And we're coming out now into the hole. So that's the pipe where the plumber cut it. That is the pile of scale that we pulled out. So just to give you an idea, I mean, that's just one handful and I'm 6'2", 240 pounds. You know, it's, it's quite a bit of scale. So I have big hands. So that's what we removed from the pipe. That's what was causing uh, all the backups. Thanks for watching.